So, in Skull and Bones, we have Season 1 available now, and we have the Smuggler Pass. In order to make progress in the Smuggler Pass, you're going to need to obtain Smuggler Points. So there are some basic rules that the game tells you. You can click in your right stick and you can get extra details. And then you also have your challenges. You've got Week 1, you'll see, for an example, completing 15 contracts for the job board. And you'll also have Wave 1, which is going to be a lot more grindy, but if you complete 30 treasure maps, you're going to get 2,000 smuggler points, which is going to be two smugglers marks. And that means you can progress two tiers in the pass. When you get to tier 45, you get the Bark, which is the new ship that's in the game. And then once you complete it, you do all 90, you do get the Skelly Welly Bundle, which is a new pet that looks really cool. So outside of the challenges, what you can do to earn infamy, because if you look at the top right, earn smuggler points by gaining infamy or completing challenges. So what you can do to earn a lot of infamy is when you are at St. Anne or even at Tilak Penjara, if you go into your helm, what you're going to want to do is come over to the order registry. And as long as you have orders in here to fulfill with your stuff like your white skull gin and then like your gold skull rum, your blue lotus opium, if you take these whilst you are delivering them, you're going to be attacked by rogues every couple of minutes. You don't actually have to hand these in. Rogues are going to continuously spawn. And for every rogue you take down, there's going to be like 160 infamy, which is going to be really, really helpful for getting your smuggler points and earning your smuggler's marks. Outside of the orders, if you come to the supply network, which is right next to it in the helm, if you go to the attacks, you can do the rogue hunts, you can take the rogues down that way. And outside of taking down rogues and getting the 160 infamy every single one, you can do contracts and things like that. As I said, you can do the challenges, or another thing you can do is every time you see a random ship when you're out in the open, or pretty much anything, you just want to basically destroy everything whilst you're out exploring, because it's not going to be as much as a rogue, but if I take this ship down, that's 50 infamy instantly. So destroying absolutely everything whilst you're sailing around, taking down the rogues through the attacks at the supply network and fulfilling your orders, is going to be the fastest way alongside the challenges to earn smuggler points and get your smuggler marks, which is going to help you progress through the smuggler pass in Skull and Bone Season 1. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about Season 1 in the comments. I will see you guys on the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.